Okay, Serato, Serato, Serato sample. What's good, family? Ice Age Beats here in the studio. Today, we're going to be tapping in with Serato samples, the must-have plug-in for sampling. Apparently, it's it's just just that good. So you know, I got to tap back in again. I did this video, or I, I you know I made a beat with Serato samples, and the beat was crazy. It was tough. I did it about a year ago. I'll leave a link in one of these corners for that video. So go check that out if you haven't already. Today, we're gonna be tapping back in. I'm gonna download this joint, see if it's worth it, and I might just buy it today for real. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and get to it. So, right when you open up Serato Sample, it's very easy. All you have to do is uh, you can either load up an audio file by clicking that button right there, or you can just drag something in directly, all right? So, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna find a sample that I have in my arsenal uh, myself and go from there. Ooh, that joint got hard. Ooh. I don't know if I wanna go with that. That's hard too. That's crazy. I kind of want to do some stuff with some vocals though. Ooh, it's down crap. I'm, I'm gonna go with this. I, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna just go with this. Like, I'm really winging this joint, okay? So, hopefully the beat comes out good. Yee. All right, so, so as soon as you drag in the um, the joint, though, like the, the sample, it literally gives you the BPM. All right, so the original BPM is on the left-hand side with the sample name, right? And that's a 155, 156. You know, your boy needs some glasses out here. But it's giving us the exact BPM. Shouts out to the AI system that Serato Sample uses. It's, it tells you the BPM, tells you the key. And then it gives you the key um, that you can adjust on the right hand side. We'll talk about that in just a second. And then it'll set your project or your sample to the project, uh, project BPM. So it's at 140 right now. If we adjust our project BPM, it'll also adjust in Serato live, live. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's do like 120 and see what the sample sounds like. Here's the next thing I would do. So with Serato down here is where you select you know, your first key or, or whatever, whatever you move it to, you can set the next key. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, you can select all and delete, get rid of them. Now, in correspondence to your keyboard, I, I, I think it's, I don't know, maybe there's something I'm missing. I think it's dumb. It, it just, it doesn't make sense. Like, where does it start? I think it's, I think it starts, let me see, right there. So it starts on an E, the E before the middle C. All right, so it's just stupid. I just, I don't get it. But that's where it starts. So if you ever play that key, that's gonna be the beginning and it'll go from there. So, as you, and so on and so forth. You just go up the keyboard. Black keys included as well. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, I didn't know you could do that. You could hold shift down and delete them. That's pretty cool. But anyways, so that's the first key right there. I already got a little banger going. Like this is. And we can adjust it too. If we like feel like that's not a good spot for it, just grab from the top half right there and you can adjust it. My magic, my, my, magic, my. Oh, that's hard. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. Oops. So right there, so. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. We just gotta figure out how we're gonna put it together, but it's done. I like, consider it done. It's crazy. I'm not even. We haven't even finished. Like gone through half the sample. Like this is crazy. Let right, me play the rest of this. Oh my god, this sample is insane! There's so much that can be done with this. Like, we could probably make five or six songs with this joint. So, I, we have a few like, like, clusters of like, like, little joints we, we could do. We could even make individual songs out of those clusters. But I want to try to figure out how I can put some of these together and kind of make like almost like a progression like when you're putting chords together you want to put them together where it kind of makes sense and makes a, a melody within itself i think we got something going so i know you couldn't really see the keyboard down here but i really wanted to show you i mean cool thing with serato it kind of shows you what i'm doing and like the keys i'm clicking and the vibe i'm coming up with So we notice some of these sounds are a little loud, like some of the sample parts are louder and we can easily turn those down. Shout out to Serato. It's a great, um, or it's an easy way to adjust each individual sample within the plugin, the volume, and so much more. So all we have to do is find it. We can just play it. So that's loud. We can just cut it down a little bit. So what I want to do is let's mess around with the, the key of it and see if we can get a different key. I think we're gonna go down. That's kind of cool though. That's kind of cool. I want to find a snare. That's probably the biggest thing to kind of carry us around. Uh, let's find a snare real quick. Kind of create a bounce. Kind of give us a, a like a um, point of reference, if that makes sense. So let's find a snare in that joint. I want to find like a realistic like snappy snare it's gotta like it's gotta crack you know what i'm saying so let's find something like that in here if it lets me uh, spice be acting different sometimes they be acting like they don't know me you know what i'm saying they be tripping <laughs> All right, so now we got the empty power drum. We're gonna add some hi hats. And this is just I'm just trying to get a pulse, get an idea, so we can keep adding more to this. This plugin is flames. Like if you don't have it, it's absolutely free. Empty power drum kit too. Of course, they have a donation section, so show them some love. Like donate five, ten dollars, whatever. Show them some love. It's a great plugin. It's free. If you want to just experiment with it, see if it's worth it. Um, it's free, so it's not a big deal, anyways. But this is one of my favorite plugins to use. Uh, that's not paid. And it is in the Ultimate Beat Maker Toolkit. So if you haven't already downloaded that, go ahead and download it, make it happen, start making the beats that you hear right on this channel. Amazing beats that are gonna inspire you and um, make you really level up as a music producer. All right, so go ahead and download that guide. So what I want to do, I want to pull something up from Arcade because I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of tired. I ain't going to front to you. And I want to just find something that's really inspiring and cool that I can pull from real quick and add to the production. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. I ain't going to lie. All right, so that sounds good so far. I think it sounds pretty dope. I want to add a kick real quick. So 
record this bass. If you don't got no headphones on or you're not in the studio with your studio monitors, you might want to turn, you know, you might want to tap in real quick. This is a pretty low bass. So let's get it. So what I want to do is I want to go into the 808 itself and literally just just tame this thing, man. Tame this beast, you heard? Yeah, all right, gotta tame this thing, man. This is clean. The only thing we need now is like maybe like a perk loop or something to kind of speed this up a little bit or create some more bounce. It's a little bit slow with the the um, you know the hi hats and whatnot, which sound good. You know what I'm saying? So I want to add that, but I also want to add some rides too, real quick, actually. That I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and duplicate our a um, let's see, uh, duplicate our drum kit. Empty power, baby. Let's get it. And let's do that real quick. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. This sample came out amazing. All I want to do now is add a perk loop and then we are done. Mm, I don't know if that's going to be there. Yo, that is crazy. I like the way the beat came out. It's cool, man. It's it's different. Uh, I definitely was mixing a lot of different genres, trap and you know, you know, it, it, it kind of came together. Though. It came together. It was pretty cool. I really wanted you to see, you know, just how great Serato Samples is, and uh, you know, you could just get creative with it and get have fun with it, enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the video, though. What I'm gonna do real quick is put this together, and then I'm gonna let you listen to it as I do that. All right, let's go. All right, so that is the video right there. I hope you enjoyed the beat. Enjoy just watching and, 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 and you know, as I kind of showed you kind of what it's capable of doing. I'm sure there's more you can do. And as you get more, honestly, just like any plugin, the more you use it, the more you get comfortable with it, the more you can utilize it and, you know, re reap the benefits from it. You know what I'm saying? So hope you enjoyed the video. Question is, do you think it's worth it? For me personally, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the plug-in. I, I, don't, I don't think it's that much money, so I think it's worth it. I think it's definitely worth having in your arsenal. If it's not in the budget right now, I totally get that. There's other alternatives, especially like Fruity Slicer and like Slice X that you can use until you get that. But I think Serato Samples has its own place in the sampling world where you can do different. It just kind of gives you a different, different approach to sampling. So I, I kind of appreciate that, and I didn't appreciate it before, especially because I really like fruity slicer or yeah i really like fruity slicer to be honest with you but either way needless to say i think it's worth it let me know in the comments below if you think it's worth it do you think it's worth the cop if not you know comment below let me know other than that i will see you in the next one